Last race at Happy Valley on Wednesday night is a very, very fast class two. It's over the 1,000 metres. And we've got Saul Special at the top of the book. Stronger, the twos led all of the way in a trial on the 24th of March, beating Lucky Express. Moment of power. He returns to his favourite trip. He'll get out and run. He's won seven over 1,000 metres. Gentle Breeze draws one again back up into class two as one five from 11. At the track and distance, the standby starter. Number six, Seven Heavens, makes the field for Joe Marira and Casper Founds. Winners supreme, the eight horse, better known on the dirts, had two trials and absolutely smoked them in an all-weather trial by about six or seven lengths. And this is class, arrives in class two, races forward in Vincent Ho. Sticks on with his good mates. Gentle Breeze and Hong Kong bet the four and the five have been at Chung Fa. Speed map time and uh, this race over the 1,000 metres, this is how they line up out of the gates. You want to watch yourself here, Tom. You might get burnt fingers with the early speed in this. <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of speed around. A few speed merchants here, the likes of Winner Supreme and Moment of Power. But this horse here, Winner Supreme with Jack Wong, I think the handlebars will be down. He's only got one speed and that's very fast. So he'll zoom to the front. Moment of Power probably just sit uh, just to his quarters on the outside, which means a horse like Gentle Breeze should get a, a nice run on the trail. Uh, stronger is there in the one back, one out position, which could make it a little awkward for it. This is class. He's got some speed, but whether he's got enough over a thousand metres to get in there uh, remains to be seen. Horses like Loving a Boom and also Cue the Music, they'll be uh, enjoying that speed uh, up front. But uh, Winner Supreme, handlebars will be well down, I feel. Yeah, that's the only way he knows, isn't it, mm. with uh, Winner Supreme? Uh, the first one we have a look at here is Stronger. You can see the hold he's under as he comes down. He's a horse that's super keen. Now, he's going to get a really nice run as well in this race from barrier number four. Uh, he goes well, and uh, the horse has been in good form recently. 1,000 metres looks ideal for him. Gentle Breeze. Now, he just maps to win this race, in my opinion. He's just going to get a nice run in behind, really fast pace. We've seen him already do that um, this season, and the horse is going really well. He's been up in Chungfa. And it's really worked for him. I think he's nice and relaxed. And this is class. He's just drawn wide. That's his problem. But he's in great form at the moment. And he's going really well. So it's a really good race this to finish. We go from your comment on this as class to an interview Ed Sadler conducted with Vincent Ho. Six rides on the horse for four wins in two seconds. His form is good, you know. Uh, but for, unfortunately, there's no um, 1,200 races for him uh, coming up. But... Um, that's why we're running him, running him in a thousand. Uh, yeah, draw ten won't be easy, I think. Yeah. What about back to a thousand? Is he capable over this trip, given that all of his wins have been over 1,200 metres? Yeah, he, he's okay for 1,000. But yeah, we'll see how how's the race pan out. Yeah. Just looking at his last win. In the last 100 metres of that race, horses like Beauty Spark and Green Rain were making up ground on him. Was he getting tired over the concluding stages or was he just switching off? Uh, it's, it's sort of switch off. But that night, I think I think he was the only leader at that one. Uh, I think everything, most of the horses, most of the winners come from behind that night. Um, so it, I don't think it's easy for him to lead all the way but he still managed to, so, um, yeah, still still impressed us. He's had about a month between runs. You've ridden him a number of his gallops since then. How is the horse heading into Wednesday's meeting? Yeah, it pulled up really well, uh, and and form is still still good, you know. So, um, he's it, still confident. Um, but as I said, 1,000 and draw 10 won't be easy, and some some other experienced horses are there and and they have good form as well. So um, yeah, it, it, it won't be as easy as uh, before for sure. And up in class, and it's not carrying uh, too light, so it, for sure it won't be easy. But it's definitely fit. They've got a great association. This is Class and Vincent Ho. Where do you see them in this sort of field, though? Well, this is the problem, isn't it? I think 1,200 is ideal for him mm. at the moment. He has to step back to 1,000. I still think he'll run well, because he is class. There's no mm. question. I just think he could get trapped a bit wide with those speedsters in the race. Yeah, gate 10, that's the concern. If he can slot in somewhere, but we did hear Vincent there before say there's no 1,200-metre races for him. That's what they'd be looking for. That's not what they've got this time around.
Gee, they're going to go some speed in this race if yeah. the map's anything to go by. We had Hong Kong win and a Hong Kong bet engaged in the race. We're down to just one of the Hong Kongs at the moment, and that one is... Uh, Hong Kong bets. There he is on the outside in a, a previous start at Sha Tin. And uh, he goes on to finish fourth in this race. It wasn't a bad run from him on this occasion over the 1,200 metres behind Shining Ace. He copped a little bit of an early check, but he wasn't beaten far at the line. Three links, uh, good course and distance record, four starts course and distance for two wins and one other second placing. So he's a horse that's in good form, and the 1,000 metres, he seems to really relish that. Yeah, that would definitely be suited by the 1,000 metres, so that's a really positive for, for him. So, yeah, he's definitely another one of the chances. He's finished alongside some good horses there as well. Transcendent, yeah. Computer Patch, they were all there in that race. Mm. Karis Teton and Tony Cruz combine with him. We move on now to a trial which features Stronger. He wins this trial in those uh, yellow and black colours. There he is. And <laughs> he goes on and, uh, and keeps on in this trial. A good pair of drawing there. Look, he's, um, he goes nicely, doesn't he? The horse is in good form at the moment. The win two starts to go over this course and distance. Beating Hong Kong win I thought was very strong. He's got barrier four. He can sit just in behind this pace. So, for me, he's one of the chances, main chances. Yeah, I think he's drawn to get a good run. Basically, one back, one out. The speed map had him. Good, solid barrier trial win there as well. So, uh, he's uh, holding good form at the moment. Zach Purton, uh, I think, key to his chances. We go from him now and... Uh, what changed cut? Colour and try a bit of luck with Gentle Breeze here. This is up at Chungfa. He's going around the club's colours here. He'll wear yellow, blue and white on Wednesday night. Look, I really like this horse. He's, he's mapped to get a really good good run. He doesn't have to lead. He can let those horses go. He can sit in behind. He's had a good time up in Chungfa. His work's been really good up there. And this was a really nice trial win. He loves the course and distance. Comes back to 1,000, so he looks like the winner for me. Yeah, that win three runs ago was really easy with that similar sort of passage as well. Yeah. So uh, he's going to be a strong chance with all that speed drawn really well. OK. Top four. Gee, there's some permutations in this race. There is. I'm going to go with a Gentle Breeze. He gets the best run for me. Sits just in behind. Looks tough to beat. Stronger in for second. This is class third. And moment of power. He's a hard horse to get past over 1,000 metres. 4 2 10, three. I'm going to settle with the strong here, and number two for Zach Purton and to John Moore. She'll get a good run just behind all that hot pace. Over number 10, this is class. Despite the wide barrier draw, think he can still run a race, but 1,200 would be better. Gentle Breeze, number four and five, Hong Kong bet. Two, ten, four and five. Two, ten, four and five from Tom. Paul, what's your stat of the week? Uh, we've got Frankie Law going really well of this season. Uh, this since February, he's had a 55% first three rate here at Happy Valley with 29 runners and six wins, five seconds and five thirds. And there's four horses he's got in. Flame Lily's got a chance. Winner's Heart's got a chance. Be Ready's got a chance. Flash Famous is in great form. So he's got chances with all four of his runners, I thought. Frankie Law is Paul's stat of the week. OK, it's the all-important time for best long shots and plays. Yeah, gentle breeze, a breeze definitely for me in the last. I think he's going to get a really nice run and be tough to beat. He's in good form and he's been up in Chungfa and loved it up there. My family in race two steps back to 1650. That's the key for uh, long uh, for the long shot. My family should be a good price. And uh, 2 4 10, the, the play in the last. Stronger, gentle breeze. This is class. He won't go too far wrong. Holy heart for me for Zach Purton, race seven, number one for a trainer Francis Lloyd. So I think he can be a good chance uh, once again. Uh, holy heart. The value special stars, race six, number five, had a lameness issue last time out, but still ran fairly well. Well, and he's amongst the play special stars with amazing Kiwi and Larson. Newcomer to the Douglas White Stable, Simply Fluke. Couple of trials good at Happy Valley and right up in behind them last time in the all-weather at Sha Tin. Long shot, race five, number three, Beauty Amigo. One start at Happy Valley, wasn't too far from Amazing Star. He's been racing stronger horses at Sha Tin. The play of the day, Dionysus Colin, everyone's elite. They always run places at worst and fantastic boy to round out the top three. Plenty of money on offer at Happy Valley on Wednesday night, boys. Looking forward to those jackpots. So plenty of chances to get involved and in I think there'll be some really good betting races throughout the cards. Yeah, looking forward to those speed demons going around the last race. 12 horses, 1,000 metres. They'll go lightning quick. And plenty of a speed to burn. That has been racing to win for Happy Valley on Wednesday night. The Triple Trio has a $5.1 million jackpot leading into it. Good luck if you're betting at Happy Valley on Wednesday night. We'll again soon go racing to win.